And now, CBS 5 Sports, awarded best sportscast by the New York State Broadcasters Association. Let's go up to the SU Hill right now. We know Nico Tamurian has been so busy covering this report from the NCAA today and on the same day that he sits down and brings us the interview with Rakeem Christmas, one of those players uh, really punished uh, by crimes he didn't commit. Nico. Michael, you hit the nail on the head. Rakeem Christmas, the definition of an innocent bystander here. Here's a guy who does everything right. He goes to class. He had his bachelor's degree in just three years. He'll have his master's in two months. Yet, he's the guy who's the senior who can't go to the NCAA tournament this year. Now, you mentioned it's pretty ironic that we sat down and we talked and all this comes out. But when I talk with Rock, he doesn't see, yeah, it is a fair, unfair shake for him, but he's treating it like a true professional. Let's take a look at my conversation with Rakeem Christmas. If you remember the first time that you talked to, whether it was Coach Behan, Coach Hop, whoever it was here, uh, what they said to you and what kind of your first impression was in talking to them? Uh, first one I talked to was uh, Coach Murph, actually. I mean, he's one of those me a lot. And I mean, when I came up here, he told me all the good things about it. I mean, I was friends with Scoop, Dion, Trev, and I mean, I just figured it was a great place for me to come to. It was close to Philly. I mean, it's a great, it's a lot of history here, and Coach Behan's a great coach. And with that, Rakeem Christmas, begins stamping his name into a Syracuse basketball history. A man who would ultimately become one of the most fan-supported players we've seen. But did you know, he almost became someone Syracuse fans would have loved to loathe. Did you almost go to Georgetown? Was that what the final two was? Oh, yeah. I, I literally was about to commit to Georgetown a week before. So, I mean, Trev convinced me to take the trip here with him, and I fell in love with it. He enjoyed moments that will forever live in college basketball lore. He helped the Orange atop those Hoyas the last time they ever played in the last real Big East tournament. A month later, he was hugging Otto the Orange on the road to the Final Four. Still, he saved his best for last, increasing his scoring by 300% this season. But his greatest achievement wasn't a dunk or even a victory, but rather his work in the classroom. In just three years on campus, Rakeem earned his bachelor's degree last May. And two months from now, after just four years in school, he'll have his master's. Have you ever thought about it from, you know, from us telling that story about you? There's probably at least a few kids out there that hear that and kind of get inspired by that. How does that feel to know that part of it? Oh, it feels great. I mean, to just to, you got to just put in a lot of hard work and determination. It'll pay off. I mean, it's not that hard. You just got to go to class, do your work, and you'll be fine. I mean, just balance it with schoolwork and it's, um, on the course stuff. You'll be fine. You're the guy who does everything right. You know, you've, you're, you're going to class. You're, you've got the degree and everything like that. And was there ever a thought in your mind that said maybe this isn't fair? No, I mean, I know stuff happened for a reason. I mean, it's out of our control. So, I mean, I've been to the Final Four. I've been to the tournament three times since I've been here. I mean, only people not going this year will be Caleb and Chris. And, I mean, I'm sure they'll end up going at some point. So, I mean, like I said, it's stuff happening for some reason, and just, it's out of control. So, I'm just got to look forward to the, um, the future. And, I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to now. Yes, the reason that Rock's run ends tomorrow. The self-imposed ban on postseason play for Syracuse. It was tough, but in true leadership form, Christmas just rallied the troops. When we heard that, I mean, everyone was in shock. I was in shock a little bit, but I mean, like I said, stuff happened. So I just told everyone that I was going to quit on them, and they said they wasn't going to quit on me. And I mean, since then, everyone's been playing their heart out. I mean, giving it their all, and it's all you can ask for. Have you thought about that, though? It's the last one in this jersey? Uh, I mean, I have. I mean, right now, I'm just focused on the game. And I mean, you know, when the game's over, that's when you can start recapping and stuff. And I mean, like, really, this, the season's really over for now. But I mean, as of right now, I'm just focused on the game. When you're in between those sidelines, all that matters is taking to those guys in red, right? Oh, yeah, always. <laughs> and that all business attitude on the floor and never give up mentality is why Rakeem at Christmas will never be forgotten by all of us in central New York. I'll tell you what, Michael, let's get lighthearted for just a moment here. It's been so many uh, hard facts about the Orange today. When I asked Rakeem Christmas if he keeps in touch with Jimmy Fallon, remember a couple years ago the two struck up a friendship, he said Jimmy actually texted him back in January when he scored 35 points against Wake Forest. They do keep in touch, and certainly as Rock looks to the NBA after this season, I'm sure they'll be keeping that connection going. But for now, reporting live here at the Mellow Center, I'm Nico Tamarian. Oh, he seems like a good, good guy, Nico. Thank you. Don't forget the Orange's final home game. Rakeem Christmas's final game in orange can only be...